A Lafayette hospital is offering a donation program that can help in the research and treatment of more than 70 illnesses. News Channel 18's Laura Kirtley has the story. Franciscan St. Elizabeth East Women's Center is now one of just a handful of hospitals in the state offering cord blood donations. Mothers can choose to donate their baby's cord blood to be used for research and treatment of disease. It's non embryonic. These are, I think, the biggest question we get asked from moms is, are you going to clone our baby? These are non cloning cells. These are strictly treatment cells used in the treatment of leukemia, lymphoma. Um, mainly your uh, blood cancers and blood diseases. President of Donor Services of Indiana, Terry Tibbetts, says cord blood is very rich in stem cells. Moms to be can also donate the umbilical cord and placenta for transplant surgeries. Just a few years ago, all this stuff was being thrown away as biohazard trash, is now actually able to be processed and then transplanted into someone else that's needing this stuff. Women's Services Division Director Joyce Van Hoosier says the procedure is safe and does not hurt the mother or child. The nurses just ask the patients if they would like to consent um, or, or be a cord blood donor. And um, once they give that final okay, then that's when donor services takes over. We've been really, really excited about you know, moms saying absolutely. I mean, the consent rate's almost 90 percent. Tibbet says eligible units of blood are registered with the National Marrow Donor Program in Washington, D.C. When physicians need to use cord blood or stem cells for transplants, they can pull from this national database. Laura Kirtley, News Channel 18. St. Elizabeth East Women's Center began the cord blood donation in March.